The phrase game changer gets thrown around all too often within the angling community and unfortunately it is not always the case. That being said, today's product is truly a game changer and it has shaped and formed anglers fishing up and down the country and has put so many extra fish on the bank you couldn't possibly count them even if you wanted to. Now there's only one product that has made this kind of impact that's been released in the last couple of years and of course it is the Nash Bushwhacker baiting pole and today I've got the pro version, it's the second iteration and well the guys over at Nash have taken it to the next level. Let's pop down into my gym and take a look. Now I think by now everybody knows exactly what a Nash Bushwhacker pole does and how capable and how much of an edge it truly is within angling. That being said, in case you did somehow manage to miss it, I'll give you a quick rundown of exactly what's involved. First up, you've got the spoon itself, which obviously is quite a key element to this one. It's got two big flotation devices on either side of the spoon, and that gives the entire spoon buoyancy as you're shipping it out to your spot. Moving on to the central compartment of the spoon, split into two, the front section is primarily for bait and your hook link, and that takes around half a kilo of bait. The rear section is made for a lead, and it also has three little slots around it so that you can poke your leader out. Now you wanna poke your leader out of the side of the spoon that you're going to be twisting into the water and that basically stops you wrapping your main line around the pole because yeah then all of a sudden your edge is completely out of the window. Moving down from that spoon head of course you get to the carbon poles and well these are quite special themselves. They have been designed to do a job and they do that exact job very very well. They're lightweight, they're durable and they work slightly differently to sort of the old style baiting spoons. Now once upon a time you used to buy a baiting spoon, it was 15 or 18 metres and each of the sections concertina down into itself much like a match fishing pole. Now these work in a slightly different way. You've got a fit in at either end of the pole and each pole sort of interlocks with the next and the next and the next and the next and before you know it you can end up with a pole basically as long as you want. I've seen people using these at up to sort of 75 meters, which is absolutely amazing when you consider the accuracy that can be achieved at that sort of range with a tool like this. There's no other way to achieve that. I know there's always the option of a bait boat, but there are so many waters now which are banning bait boats because people can't use them responsibly. Now, when you purchase one of these kits, you get 10 1.5 meter sections. So you've got 15 meters straight out of the bag, ready to go and that will get you fishing into an awful lot of situations that you couldn't before. That being said, if you need to go further at greater distances, you can pick up these sections at almost any tackle shop around the country. Most places have got them in stock all the time because it is such a popular bit of kit. So as I said at the beginning, I'm pretty sure we can put this into the game changer category. There are no questions. It is 100% guaranteed to help you put fish on the bank. This is now the pro version and there have been some modifications over the original to take it to the next level. All of the changes are basically to do with the spoon head itself. So the eagle eyed amongst you that have already got the original have probably noticed a couple of differences already. For those of you that haven't, I'm gonna run through them now. So first up, you've got the floats on the spoon themselves. They were previously sort of a squared off design. Now they're nice and tapered. You've got a nice streamlined design there to help aid pushing the spoon through the water with a bit of stealth, which is always good. They've also been increased in size slightly like I said earlier, to aid with stability. And yeah, it's, you're definitely not gonna tip this over by accident, which is a really nice position to be in because when you're trying to sort of direct a spoon and keep control of your line lay, you, you know, you've got an awful lot to do. The last thing you wanna be doing is thinking about whether you're gonna tip it over by accident. Moving on to the front of the spoon, there has been a bracket added. And that is because there was quite a demand for people to be able to use a deeper with a baiting spoon. So Nash have modified the spoon, added a bracket, and giving you an arm so that you can attach your deeper to the front of your bait and spoon. Now this is a massive edge in itself. One of the things I didn't really enjoy about using a bait and spoon was basically if you were tucking this under sort of a tree canopy, you had no way of telling how deep it was. Well now you do. 
You don't have to worry about trying to feel for a drop that is almost impossible to feel. If you've only got a couple of foot of water and a silty bottom, the chances are you're just not going to feel it. That's just the way the tools work. But now with the deeper attachment, you don't have to worry about that whatsoever. These are incredibly accurate. It's almost like having an echo sounder on a bait boat. That's how stealthy it is. It's got loads of use cases. I'm sure you guys have probably used the deeper before. You open up the app on the phone. As you put the deeper into the water, it automatically turns on, connects to the app, and you get a live readout of exactly the bottom that it's being pushed over. The second major enhancement to this spoon head is this part on the back here, which is called the leading bridge. Now, it's not necessarily going to be for everyone. A lot of people are going to rely mainly on that deeper attachment, but the leading bridge is for some of us that like to do things the old fashioned sort of analog way, if you like. And what it enables you to do is put your lead from your leading rod in there, clip the line up under the leading bridge clip, and then you can ship it out to your spot, turn the spoon over, and then the leading bridge acts as a pivot point, enabling you to basically donk on the bottom so you can get that genuine 100% feedback through rod and line like you would with a marker setter. As I said at the beginning, I really do think that these modifications really take the Bushwhacker baiting pole system to the next level. Now it is available in two sizes. This is the standard size, half a kilo of bait, comes with the two attachments but obviously not the deeper there is also an xl version the xl version holds one and a half kilos of bait per sort of spoon load if you like which is an absolute massive amount of bait now when it comes to pricing the standard one comes in at 229.99 and as i mentioned earlier that gets you 15 meters worth of pole sections the spoon head the accessories but uh, yeah, not that deeper. It also comes in a nice durable carry bag. The XL version comes in a little bit more money at 249.99, but again, comes with all the same sort of fixtures and fittings. There's loads of information on the Nash Tackle website, so do pop on there for any more info. Also, make sure you check out the hundreds of videos that are online from guys like Tom Foreman, Ollie Davis. They all put these baiting poles through their paces and make sure that they work extremely well. And to be fair, I have firsthand witnessed carp being put on the bank by the pros using these bits of kit and it is quite impressive to say the least make sure you hit that thumbs up button to like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and make sure you hit that bell notification icon and that way you won't miss out on any of the latest updates from the team at carpology i'll see you guys in the next one thanks very much <music>